Hi everybody and welcome back and today this is Umair from Tutorials Hub and we will be discussing about how to use Pokey app with Shopify. So this is going to be a complete tutorial. Let's just begin with that. Okay, so first of all, as you can see on our screen, we are on our landing page of Shopify or main homepage. Now, if you simply head over to your apps section and try to search for Pokey in here, you will not be able to find it. So let's just try that out. So you can see it is actually not available in here. And to search it, you simply need to head over to your Chrome Web Store. So let's just head over to that Chrome Web Store. And here you need to search for Pokey. Let's just try doing that. Okay, so this is basically here and this is used to import products from multi-platforms and Shopify stores with just one click. So let's just begin. Click on the Pokey product importer and add it onto your browser of your choice, whatever you are using. In my case, it is Microsoft Edge. So now what we need to do is once our extension is good to go, you can see I have signed into my account already. You can create your account. It is quite simple. So what you need to do is simply first of all add your store in here. To do that you can click on add store option, enter in here your shop name and access token. To get it let me just show you how you can get your name. First of all so you simply need to head over to your settings. You can see this is going to be your store's name. Let's just copy that and enter that into your dashboard or you can see in your pokey prompt based now we need an access token so it is a bit of catch what we need to do is simply head over to our store and in here let's just go back to our home page and in your apps section head over to your apps and channel settings once you are there you can see we have various different options so you need to head over to your develop apps it is on your top right side of your screen head over to develop apps and allow custom app development now you can see it is giving us all of this information and related data click on allow custom app and then create an app you can enter in here the name of the app and could be anything let's just call it maybe pokey or whatsoever you would like to say it and from here you need to click on this first button that says configure admin api scopes now you can see we have a lot of different fields going up to simply filter throughout them you can simply search in here for product and you can see we have now various fields showing up so we need to simply checking the product fields product listings products and publications so make sure that you have checked these eight different fields and scopes make sure that you have these eight done then make sure to click on save eventually once they do that you can see the install app option showing up on the top click on install app and then you can see it is telling you some information simply go through that and now you can see we have our token generated so this is the method to get through that click on reveal token now you need to be making sure that you copy this part really um, efficiently since it is going to be only be showing up once so I'm going to be doing that and I have copied that part and now I'm going to be entering that token into this area now click on connect and most probably it should be added you can see it is saying connected we have our shop name domain store status subscription status and tool so everything is basically displayed in here and that is pretty much it that we need to do to connect it and now we can easily head over to our shopify store and start importing our products you can see we have various buttons on the top we have shopify we have our account we have tutorials support and wix and all that so if you head over to your shopify your account is connected all right so here as you can see i'm on my ma main page of shopify and now in the products i currently have only three products but if i want to now import more products with you can say like the our extension that we just added 
and pokey and it is going to be really simple so let's just assume that if we head over to our Amazon account or Amazon store and we want to copy this gaming related hat into our store it is going to be really really simple all you need to do is once you have your activated subscription onto pokey you can see we need to finally click on activate subscription and then it will lead us to this section where we need to enter our details and once our account is ready to go all we need to do is head over to any of these storefront and the product that we want to import into our store and click on the extension on the top right and you can see currently it is prompting us to log in then you need to simply finish this activate subscription process once you do that you will have only two options to import your product to your store and once you click on extension there will be an option to import onto your store it will be really simple and another product is going to be added onto your products list so once you do that you will have your list growing up and that's how easily you can do it so it is not only limited to amazon but to literally every store that you want to get it done for so yeah i hope this is going to be really helpful you can do it for timu you can do it on your woocommerce or aliexpress or whatsoever platform is having the products listed related to different type of stores everything is going to be possible with pokey so i highly recommend this application or extension onto your store as well if you're running a shopify business of course this is one of the must have and yeah so make sure to give try and if you are wondering if you want to access shopify there's a link in the description below that you can access to get first month on shopify for just one dollar and you can get a lot of value out of it so make sure to give try also if you are wondering to uh, learn about different type of stuff onto our channel we have series coming up for shopify and various other applications as well so make sure you stay tuned with our channel since we are uploading this type of step-by-step -step guides related to key parts of shopify as well other parts so yeah that is going to be the end of this video guys if you have any questions you can let us know in the comments below subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more and see you guys in the next video